all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video today we are going to be doing e-boys versus e-girl so let me know down in the comments you guys think is going to win make sure you guys follow all these players the links to their socials are going to be down below in the description make sure to give them a follow but we're going to be starting here on border for our first map we've got the e-boys starting on attack and the e-girls on defense so once again let me know down in the comment what your predictions are for the match thank you so much to these players for coming out and playing there's a little bit of uh, a struggle to set this up so it'd mean a lot to me if you guys are able to like the video subscribe if you're new as i do post videos like this one every single day and with that being said let's get straight into round one all the e-boys right now spawning mostly by east right now and it looks like they could potentially go for a rush shot we see chris on the amaru returns on the osa for possibly a plant but zonki actually with the glass from all the way back in the east air spawn gonna get the first kill for the e-boys but lion is gonna refrag now elaine taking a lot of damage to the wall right now but that's gonna be dino getting taken down so there goes your zofia player returns walking to site right now with the osa shield we're gonna see Linus trying to defend against this she's actually gonna get the kill onto returns now 3v4 the e-girls with the man advantage right now but that's gonna be Chris with the Amaro. He's straight in sight right now. And I'm not sure if the E-Girls know this just yet. Lion is taking huge amounts of damage. She's gonna get taken out from the armory side here. And we're gonna see Aline trying to get the, the gunfight here. Nothing's quite gonna connect just yet. Chris able to just defend himself in the site. Cheddar gonna be going for that plant right now. And Zonki actually covering him. Gridlock traps going out. Osa's shield is down. And Zonki peeking through the smoke grenade right now. So this is not looking great. For the e-girls whatsoever and now lean doing a little bit of damage onto chris but he's gonna be able to escape with his life there s is gonna swing but she's gonna get taken out and zaki with the kill onto sophie and chris with the last kill onto lean so the first round is gonna go to the e-boys but all things considered it was actually fairly close also i just wanted to note that i've been awake for almost 24 hours so if my casting is like completely awful i apologize if i put your names i apologize the g fuel is keeping me running right now so i'm doing the best i can but with that being said dino actually with the m762 iron sights this is really interesting iron sights suppressor i can't imagine how the recoil is going to be on this but he's just going to rush straight into the front door right now and the first person he's going to see who is it that's the malusi that's sophie right now sophie's going to take him out maybe an ill-advised push from dino they're just running straight up the metal stairs with the iron sight suppressor on the m762 Chris right now as the Amaro sitting on the AC window right now and I'm not sure if Lisa heard it but the window right next to her just got open so she needs to be careful of that. Cheddar gonna take a little bit of damage as uh looks like Sophie is trying to flank it through break room now but Zonky with the first kill for the e-boys. Cheddar gonna follow that up as well as a kill from Chris who's on actually inside of archives now. Eileen has gotta watch her back right now as Chris is pushing in right behind her. Chris flashed from the uh well, my trap right there. Where is Esta? She's flanking in through CC. She's going to get the kill onto Cheddar. Zonki going to take it out by Aline. So it's a 2v2 now. Where is Chris at? Chris is inside of archives right now. Aline, you've got to watch this. I'm not sure if she knows. Esta is watching it as well. Returns our other attacker. Pushing into the armory balcony right now. Fell up to Aline, but she's going to get taken out. Chris with two big kills from the archives. Very nice round by the E-Boys. All right, this is going to be the E-Boys last round here on attack. Let's see how they're going to fair it is 2-0 right now so it'd be great if they're able to get this 3-0 and get that match point cheddar doing a ton of 360s making me nauseous inside of the e spawner now looks like we have zonki trying to take care of that shield right now return setting up his osa shield just outside of the front door but zonki with just a rush right into sight dino as well with the kill onto aline but s is going to refrag onto zonki right now she's about one hp just trying to defend against the front door here cheddar pushing in through bathroom right now dino going to be down directly in the shield now and that's as well as going to be chris getting taken out so it's really all up to returns here who's right on the shield but a team kill ref to returns onto dino i don't even know what just happened ladies and gentlemen there was so much that just went off right there i honestly could not even keep up with it but that's going to be the first round for the e-girls of the uh defending split there and they are going to switch over to attack now i think what the uh, e-boys were trying to do there last round was was like do some sort of archives rush but it was so strange like they didn't really have any of the operators they needed to make the rush happen so I was sitting there trying to commentate it and I was like, there's no way they're going to rush this, right? And then they all rushed this. That was, that was a crazy round, but I want to, I'm excited to see how they're going to perform here on defense. They're looking like, uh, they're going to do some interesting shots here as well. We see Chris actually opening up all of this wall. You don't typically see that. He's also got clash. 
So I'm sure they're going to be doing some sort of clash strat here. I'm really excited to see what he has in mind. It looks like he's probably going to play inside of the little small office here in armory with the clash shield. I don't know if this is like a common cop shot or something, but I'm really excited to see how this is going to work out for them. We also have Cheddar on the Malusi, and he's going to be able to slow them even further along with Chris. Dino on the Ella as well. So many just slowing operators here coming out from the defense. And all of the armory wall open up as well. This is... I don't know. This, ladies and gentlemen, I have no idea what we are looking at right now. Better with a pistol spawn peak from the East Series right now. The first one he's going to run into is Esta. But we've also got, I believe that is... Zonky. Spawn peaking as well with the hit fire, nonetheless. <laughs> so, let's see if Zonky is able to get a kill doing that. Cheddar's going to get droned out though. So, he's got to be careful in this run out right now. As he is going to get taken out. Esta trying to push up to Zonky right now, but Zonky's got the SMG 11. It's so close up up close. He's got to be careful He's still trying to hit fire. Zonky is a madman right now taking about 60 of his HP Returns also taking about half his HP and we actually we actually see Cheddar being downed right now trying to crawl to Zonky for safety Zonky finally gonna, gonna get taken out Esta with the kill onto him. Nice shots by her Returns or a uh, Dino, I apologize, peeking the armory balcony with the pistol as well. The uh, E boy's a little bit confident with these pistols, it looks like. Mine is trying to push in through archives here. She's going to end up getting that shield. Good play by her. Getting rid of all that utility. So it looks like they might be trying to do some sort of an archives take. She's trying to hold an angle, narrowly missing the shots onto Dino, who's inside of armory right now. Finally, Chris is going to rotate back to site with the shield and we actually see returns down below with the c4 he's potentially going to throw that up through the floor and try to take out linus who's playing on the balcony here cheddar with a pistol kill onto sophie he's on the east stairs right now just being a menace through this east stairs door they've got to be careful we also see chris unshielded peeking the archives window with the shotgun impact going to go out that's going to damage linus quite a bit she's on about 30 hp now the unshield again from Chris. Smoke grenades are coming out from the E-Girls right now. Another kill for Dino with the pistol. Chris with the kill with the shotgun now. It's all up to Linus and Esta. But Linus is going to get taken out. Chris with the swing of the shotgun. It's all up to Esta now who's on the armory balcony. Can't she clutch this out? Chris is rotating to her position right now. She's already in though. Looks like no one else is there to really help her or help Chris right now. But the clash with the 180s. Chris able to take her out. The 180s are just too powerful <laughs> with the clash here. Great shots by Chris. Taking a look at the scoreboard. Chris right now with a big eight kills, one death. Huge game by him. That clash being so powerful. Looks like opening up the uh, armory wall and such actually worked to their advantage. Really interesting strategy coming out from the E-Boys, but it's going to be match point now, 3-1. to one. So if the E-Girls want to have any hope at winning this, they definitely need to get back to OT. They only need to win two more rounds to get back to OT, and things will normalize a little bit. So I hope to see them do that here. Dino spawn peeking here with the boss G. I wonder if he's going to get any kills. We actually do see one person spawning over here. It looks like it's possibly Aline, but she's going to fall all the way down. Possibly a smart choice. We actually see three of the e-boys peeking towards valley so that's just not something you want to deal with that's just too many angles for one person to be peeking but as i say that returns the pistol one tap onto sophie that's going to be your zofia getting taken out Chris with a pistol kill of his own onto lisa i believe that was from outside on the site window here or the teller's window i apologize esta with a kill though onto cheddar she's going to take a lot of damage right now from this door in main lobby that's going to be zonky Doing a lot of damage onto her, but returns from above with the kill onto Esta. She's going to go down. Chris taking massive amounts of damage. It's going to be all up to Aline and Linus now. Are they able to clutch this out? It is match points, so if they want to win this game, they definitely need to clutch this round here. Zonky going to push in. He's got the Deagle right now. He's being a little bit too aggressive, I think. Getting a little bit ahead of himself. Trying to see for a hard wall, but there goes the C4 through the passport wall. He's going to get taken out by Linus. Great shots by her. It's all up to Linus and Aline, but Linus is putting in so much work. The second kill of the round for her. She's going for three. She's going to get it. Great shots by her. All up to Dino now. How the tables have turned. Dino in the 1v2 against Aline and Linus. Linus just sees Dino inside of sight right now. He's going to take a little bit of damage. The C7 comes out though. Dino's able to get the kill. It's all up to Aline. 1v1. Dino about 60 or 70 HP with the boss G. Aline looking the wrong way right now. Who's going to win it? It's going to be Dino. Oh my 
Goodness, ladies and gentlemen, the E-Boys clutch it out 4-1 to one here on Border. I had so much faith in them that last round. Linus was putting in so much work on that R4C. I had the faith. I saw the rounds going into their favor, but Dino just too good with that Bosh G. So we're going to head into our second map now. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Map number two. We're loading into Villa as we speak between these two teams here. Hopefully, we're able to get to a map three. We haven't discussed what that's going to be yet, but I'm hoping the E-Girls win this one so we can bring this to a map three. I think it'd be pretty interesting to watch. But with that being said, if you guys have been enjoying this video so far, once again, consider following all of these players with links down below in the description. It would mean a lot to me, and I'm sure it would mean a lot to them. But also, consider liking the video. Subscribe if you're new. Turn those notifications on as, once again, I do post daily on the channel here. Post videos like this one every single day. So if you guys are enjoying this, you'll surely like tomorrow's video. So make sure to turn those notifications on so that you don't miss that video. But... With that being said, let's move straight into round one. Possible rush going to come out from Dino here. Looks like he really wanted to hop in through that window. Lion, Lion Scan's going to go out. Doka be going to go out as well. All of those scans are coming out right now. Looks like Chris is going to walk in through Laundry as well. So I'm not really sure what we are seeing so far. But Lion is with the first kill of the second map. Onto returns. Dino promptly refragging onto Aline. He's going to take massive amounts of damage though. Zonku with the kill onto Sophie. Lisa with the kill onto Chris. Zonku with another kill onto Lisa. It's all falling apart here. Esther with the kill onto Zaki. Linus with another kill onto Dino. It's all the cheddar so quickly that fell apart for the E-Boys now. It's all up to Esther and Linus. Linus should be able to get healed with the Thunderbirds right here. Esther just watching the door. Cheddar are going to be trying to drone in through the site, but that's going to get Mozzie pested. So he's got no intel now. He's got to walk in blind. C4 going to come out from Linus. Is it going to hit? Cheddar's going to get taken out. Linus with a C4 kill. Great round by Linus with the three big kills on this round. That little bit of a rush shot from the E-Boys just did not seem to plan out as they were expecting. I know doing some poor parkour inside of the ruins right now. All the way up by this tree. I'm not even sure what he's doing. He looks like he's trying to get an angle onto the head holes. There inside of study. Popping some shots to the wall, but nothing's going to hit just yet. But it looks like Chris is right here, ready to go straight in through the window. But Lion is going to be right on the other side, and she's going to take out Chris instantly. Lisa with the kill onto Zonky as well. So it's already a 3v5. E Boy's not in a good spot whatsoever here. Sophie just trying to peek onto the balcony here. Returns just hiding behind his shield right now. Impact is going to come out, but Sophie's actually going to miss that. She's going to get taken out from behind on the red stairs. Dino walking up. Gonna take her out now. It's all up to our last four remaining on the E-Girls team. But Dino's gonna take out Lisa. Lisa take out Cheddar. Linus with the refrag onto Diana now. It's all up to returns in the 1v3 now. That unfolded very quickly, I have to say. Esta trying to just watch the push in here. The swing's gonna come out. Returns is gonna win it. He's one HP now against two full HP defenders here. Lean trying to hold an angle on the head holes, but returns is gonna opt to go to the other side. On classical hall here. Linus pushed back in a study. She's gonna try to hold the, the flank now. Aline's gonna have to hold the door here so that returns isn't able to push into the site. Shot's gonna come off. Returns now knows that Linus is inside of study. So he's gonna push into site now. Gonna gonna take out Aline. Shot's gonna go out through the wall, but they're gonna miss. Returns on one HP. He's gotta be so careful about how he plays this. Linus is gonna try to push back into study here. She knows she can play on the head holes if she chooses to. Returns does it as well. Pre-fire is coming out. Nothing's going to hit. 30 seconds left. Returns needs to get this bomb down. If he's able to plant behind the shield. That'd be huge. He's trying to get it down. Linus with no impact grenade. So the shield's going to be huge. 15 seconds left. Returns going to place his shield onto the door. On Skull. Z-Ping is coming out for the E-Girls. Linus knows exactly where, she, where he's at. But the, the Osa shield is going to stop her from being able to see him. Returns trying to plant... Three seconds left on the plant. Only two seconds left on the round. It returns. He gets off the plant and vaults on the maps table. Last second. What a play by him. Oh my goodness. Looks like Cheddar and Zonky are going to be doing some form of a rush track here. Zonky going to go left. Cheddar going to go right. I'm interested to see what they plan to do here. Chris is actually already in master as well. So E-Boy is wasting no time in pushing in. And the first person they're going to run into is Sophie. She's going to get down. Esta is also down. That's Thorn getting taken out. So the E-Boys wasting no time getting straight into the building and handling business right now. Oh, crazy pre-fire from Chris. Lisa going to get taken out. Linus with the refrag onto Dino. But Chris is already in the site with the bomb. Aline's going to get taken out. Chris with the last kill onto Linus. Wow. An absolutely efficient round from the E-Boys. Wasting... Not a single second getting straight into the building and 
converging on the eagles from so many different angles right there we saw i believe uh cheddar went towards main stairs we saw uh chris go in through bathroom window donkey went in through the astro stairs like there were so many different ways they pushed into the site right there for the map that was just an absolutely picture perfect round from the e-boys there score is now two to one a lot of spawn piece coming out from the e-boys right now down i'm gonna shoot open the front door here zonky right next to him with the pistol return spawn peeking through the art studio as well so many spawn peaks at once right now cheddar trying to swing through the study door as well zonky gonna take a little bit of damage from that goyo trap about almost almost half his hp is pretty substantial to be honest but it looks like most of the e-girls are gonna be trying to push in through master side so None of these guys are going to get any spawn peaks with the ways they are peaking. This also marks the first round for the E-Girls on attack, at least for Villa. So I'm interested to see how their attacks are going to be. Sophie trying to push in through the master window here, but she's got to be careful as Cheddar is right here on the statue door right now. Linus pushing in. I don't know if Cheddar knows about this. He doesn't. Linus coming in from behind. She's going to take out Cheddar. Esta taking all but one HP right now. Zaki going to take her out through the wall. Another kill for him as well onto Lioness. That was interesting to say the least right now. So Sophie trying to push in through the statue door, but it's not going to happen. Dino's going to get that kill. It's all up to Lisa and Aline. Aline going to get a kill onto returns. Lisa with a nade kill onto Zaki right now. 2v2. Dino going to get the down and finish onto Aline. So it's all up to Lisa and the 1v2 now. Shot's going to go off. Dino gets going to take it out. It's all up to Chris. He's got the Teagle in hands right now. Lisa has the HP advantage, even if it is slight. Minute 20. So Lisa's got plenty of time to work with here. Chris just playing off of these zombies right now. It looks like there's three actually on the door right there. It looks like Lisa's going to try to push over by Classical Hall, though. The wall's going to get opened up. Eagle shot coming out from Chris, but that's going to miss. Lisa able to open up the vault wall as well. So, so many angles getting opened up as the E-Boys had not reinforced. Looks like anything, all of the bar wall also opened up. Very interesting shot coming out from them. Grenade going to come out from Lisa, but that is surely going to miss. Chris just deagling random things at this point behind the bar. Lisa trying to push in, but the Goyo Chap's going to be there. 30 seconds left, so she's not going to be able to push in through that particular door as the Goyo Chops last for about 25 seconds. A lot of damage being dealt on to Chris now. He's about half HP. Lisa's going to push in. Shot's going to come out. One dig onto Lisa. Chris is going to clutch that out. Three to one now for the E-Boys. Okay, Returns has just crawled into the closet here in Master and whipped out the Mira. I am dying to see if this works. It'd be the funniest thing ever. I love the fact that he's playing Mira here. That just sells us even more. Let's get a look from Cheddar's perspective. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, there is simply just no way that works. Listen, there is absolutely no way that uh, Returns able to pull this off. But we'll see. I mean, it looks like most of the Eagles are actually pushing Master Side. So I'm so curious to see if Returns is going to be able to pull this off. All of the Alibis are just right in this room as well. I feel like that might give it away a little bit. But oh my god, I hope this works so much. This is going to be the funniest thing throughout this entire video if this works. Wow, Sophie with the first kill, though, onto Zonky. There goes the Legion. Probably a good thing that he got taken out, as I would like to see the E-Girls actually make it inside into the closet, but it's not going to happen. Returns gets droned out. Linus calls him out in the game chat. No, I was hoping that was going to work, but what are the E-Boys doing? Look at them. Cheddar and Chris prone on the master bedroom. Returns on the window of master closet. He's in a swing. Z Sophie's going to get taken out now. A run out from returns, but Linus has a claimer on the window, so he's going to get taken out. There's another player directly underneath the window. I'm not sure if Linus knows about it, but that's going to be Chris just prone underneath the window, so she's got to be careful if she chooses to push in through here. Cheddar with the shotgun kill onto Esta, so there goes your knock player. Lisa trying to push in through, the, through below right now, and Aline's actually all the way up into the 90 hall looks like she might be trying to push into sight but she's gonna have to contest cheddar who's pre-firing the angle right now but a nade from below lisa with the perfect nade from below that's gonna be cheddar getting taken out so aline's gonna have free reign to push in but dino's gonna stop that push promptly so it's all up to chris and dino chris still trying to hold linus from pushing in through master ash are just coming off from linus to clear up some angles so she's able to peek into the master bedroom dino falling back to asher right now where is Lisa at. She is still below. Not sure where she wants to push from just yet. Waiting for actually looks like waiting for Linus to push in with her. Probably a smart decision if the both of them push in together. 
they have a much better chance at winning this round. Chris playing on the statue door here inside a master. So they're going to have to contest him if they choose to push in through the master bedroom here. But Chris, or that's actually Dino swing in through four right now. And he's going to take out Lisa through the wall of all things. That's going to be GG's, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, what a crazy flick there as well. GG's. The E-Boys take it 4-1 and 4-1 between both the maps. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, once again, consider following everybody with the links down below in the description. My socials are also going to be down there. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.